there is not enough time in the day <laughs> for so much stuff happening right now. Um, oh, of course, I'm excited for this. What do you expect? <laughs> another trailer reaction they have just released the first official trailer for spider-man across the spider-verse this is the sequel to spider-man into the spider-verse which is still to this day probably probably my number one spider-man movie and probably number one in a few categories if i'm being completely honest um this stars the voice talents of shameek moore as miles morales we've got oscar isaac coming in as spider-man 2099 Got Haley Steinfeld reprising her role as Gwen Stacy. Got Brian Tyree Henry. We've got uh, J J J Jake Johnson coming back as Peter B. Parker. We've got um, the introduction of Issa Rae, who is portraying Spider Woman, and so many other people. This is this is hype. This is legit hype. I will say this about Spider Man Into the Spider Verse: it is still within the top three of Spider-Man movies for me. It probably fluctuates between this and No Way Home as my number one, but it is still up there. The animation style of this of that, of that first movie was so original and unique, and it fit with the story that they were telling. It had such, it had such a cool, cool design that just it just makes that movie so special to me especially with miles morales miles morales has quickly um over the last 10 years become probably the most popular incarnation of spider-man he's a fantastic character and i'm very excited to see them continue with his journey um across the spider-verse we're going to get introduced to even more spider people even more than what we got with the first spider-man into the spider-verse movie so i'm i'm very pumped for this i don't know what the sport what the actual story is i know there seems to be something going on between him and spider-man 2099 rather he did something that he didn't know the, I'm assuming the entire Spider-Verse, Multiverse, whatever you want to call it, is in danger. And it's going to t take him, Peter B., Spider-Gwen, and a whole bunch of other Spider-People to probably resolve this. Now, this is supposedly a two-parter. It's not. It was originally called Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 and Part 2, but now I think it's called Across the Spider-Verse for this one. And then a year later, we're getting Beyond the Spider-Verse as, the, as the, I guess, the third in the trilogy. That's all I know. That's all I know. Uh, I am talking kind of fast because I'm trying to get this in another video done before I have to travel this week. And I just was on the Movie Bears podcast with um, Brad, Jim, and Will. They were doing their 10th anniversary. I had a lot of fun stopping in, saying hi to those guys. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out on their channel. I'll throw a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. And if this happens to be your first time checking me out, before you check out the rest of this video, make sure that you do watch the original trailer. It is linked in the description below. And then stay and listen to my thoughts afterwards. And again, Really appreciate you checking out this video, especially if this is your first time. Hi, my name is Will, and I do geeky shit on the internet. I do reviews, reactions, discussions, some gaming, some drinking. I just try to have a lot of fun. I hope you do as well. If you're interested in that sort of thing from a geeky bear like my if you're interested in that sort of thing, I almost had it. If you're interested in that sort of thing from a geeky bear's perspective, why not subscribe to the channel? Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I am so close to 500 subscribers. Now, it took like a month or two. It didn't really like push it on people, but come on, I've got like, I was trying to get to it by the end of the year, and I'm so close. I need like 13 people. I just need the lucky 13, the Gote 13, if you're fans of Bleach, show up and help a brother out. If that doesn't sound desperate, I am so sorry. <laughs> let's subscribe for this sort of irreverent comedy. God, I can't even keep my shirt straight. All right, so let me check out the trailer, and then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. So here we go. This one I'm looking forward to. This comes out in June, June 2nd of next year. That's exciting. Are you excited? I hope you are, because I am. I'm very much excited. That glitch, I love that glitch. I can hear you being quiet. I am 
Hope I didn't ice your game, man. No one my age says those words in that order. It's just um. hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. Oh no, this dad died. Uh... Years I've been taking care of this little boy. I love the retrospective. Making sure he's loved. <sighs> that he feels like he belongs wherever he wants to be. He wants to go out into the world and do great big things. Not bad, kid. Love the new suit. And what I worry about most. I love you, Moss. Is they won't look out for you like us. Want to get out of here? Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Make sure you oh, have to that's a lot of them. And oh. never doubts that he is loved. <clears throat> and he never lets anyone tell him that he doesn't belong there. I promise, Miles. I promise. Oh. Who do you think you are? Really? We are supposed to be the good guys. We are. Oh shit. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, so that was our first official trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, I don't know what Miles did or what they think he did, but that boy is in trouble because everybody's coming after him. There's so many other Spider-People in this movie that I did not know were gonna be in there. I even saw a glimpse of the, the Spider-Man from the, from the, it's a very, it's a very short run. I don't even know if I have it floating around here. Let me, hold on, let me see if I can do it. Oh, do I? Oh no, I'd have to find it. I, I'll have to find it. But there was a release of like, like, like Marvel's manga verse, and there was a Japanese Spider. Well, it wasn't Japanese Spider Man, but it was a it was a manga version of Spider Man. It was a whole Spider Clan thing. It's actually pretty dope. I have the comic someplace. I'll have to pull it out for when I do the review. But um, it looked. I saw a glimpse of him, and we got our interpretation of Spider Woman. Love the, the design of this version of Spider Woman. It looks so good. It looks so good. Um, it looks like there is definitely something going on um, that is that has Miles at the center of it. Uh, Gwen and most likely Peter B are going to still be on Miles' side. Like him and Miguel are going to have some sort of beef going on. But obviously, there's something deeper happening. I don't think it's Miles' fault. Uh, I definitely am curious to see how this ties into the Beyond the Spider-Verse movie because this was really supposed to be like a part one, part two, and we all know with two-parters, they have to pick a really good spot for it to end, for it to like flow well, because you want them to still stand alone as like two separate movies. That was the same thing with Infinity War and Endgame. Remember, those were originally Infinity War part one and part two, and they just called it two different things and they and it worked so i'm curious if this is going to also be in a similar fashion where it's two completely separate entity movies instead of just being like it cuts off here and then it's going to pick up again where that left off kind of like with dune and i'm hoping dune doesn't feel like that because i know that sequel is coming out i'm a little nervous about how they're doing part one and part two for that but uh it looks fantastic and they definitely kept the style which, I mean, you're not going to change up that style. Like, the animation style with with how they're doing into the Spider-Verse movies is, again, like I said earlier, it's just so unique and it fits so well with how they're doing this iteration of Miles. And I'm just glad that we're getting more of it. That little retrospective at the beginning was such a good reminder of how good that first movie really was. This one has a lot to live up to, and I feel like it's going to knock it out of the park. That's my hope, anyway. It's definitely on my anticipation list, which I haven't done one of those in a couple of years, like my most anticipated movies of a certain year. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to it before the end of the year, but, you know, yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, there... 
Honestly, let me know what you think of the trailer in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for checking out this and all my videos. And thank you for checking out my reaction to the first official trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're new here and this is your first time checking me out, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you watched the original trailer that was linked below and then stuck around for my thoughts. And if you did enjoy all that stuff, subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. So close to 500 subscribers this year. Will you be one of the 13 chosen to propel me to 500? I hope so. <laughs> really appreciate it. I do so much stuff on this channel, like a lot of different things. I do, re you know, reviews and reactions. I do some gaming on here now because I'm starting to stream more on, my, on YouTube instead of on Twitch. So subscribe. You can follow me on a bunch of different social media platforms to stay up to date. Uh, like I said, ton of content on the channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. As always, until next time, I will catch you later. <laughs> See ya. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you did like this video, why not give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on my gorgeous little face right over there. You can follow me on all the various social media platforms right below. And last but certainly not least, if you've got a few extra minutes, why not check out one of the lovely videos floating right over here. Later.